Question 18. A shop sells notebook and pens. And there you can see Hassan and Kate shopping in the shop. Hassan bought a notebook and a pen. He paid £1.10. Kate bought a notebook and two pens and she paid £1.45. Calculate the cost of a notebook. Now we don't really need to look at the picture. We just really need the writing to work it out. But we've got to show our working. Now the trick with this is to notice that they both bought a notebook, so they match. But the only extra thing that Kate bought that Hassan didn't bought was one extra pen. So the extra cost that she paid must be the price of that extra pen. So the extra pen must have cost the difference between £1.45 and £1.10. So if we work out the difference by subtracting, we'll find the cost of the pen. 5 take away 0 is 5, 4 take away 1 is 3, 1 take away 1 is 0. Don't forget your decimal point. So the extra pen must have been 35 pence, which I'll write up here. Now we know that the pen is 35 pence, we can use Hassan's price so to work out the cost of the notebook. So the notebook must have been the difference between £1.10, which is what Hassan paid in total, and 35 pence, which is what he paid just for the pen. So if you take the pen cost away from his total, you'll get the cost of his notebook. So 0 take away 5, we can't do, so we're going to borrow one. That, that makes 10. 10 take away 5 is 5. 0 take away 3 we can't do, so we need to borrow again. Makes 10 again. 10 take away 3 is 7. And 0 take away 0 is 0. Don't forget your decimal point. So the notebook must have cost 75 pence. You can either write that with a pound sign. as 0.75 pounds. Or you can write that as pence. 75 pence. Either of those two answers would be acceptable. But it's all about the column methods and working out the cost of the extra pen first.